the next thing that we're going to talk about is flavor is aroma and its taste, but also there are these um, sensations that we call chemistesis. And it's a touch, pain, or thermal sensitivity. Um, you react in ways like um, you might say something is tingling or burning or cooling. Um, we get pricking sometimes, like from carbonation. So some of the compounds that elicit these chemistatic responses are capsaicin, which is in chili peppers, um, cinnamaldehyde, which is in the jelly beans that you just had. Um, it's also in like Red Hots, Atomic Fireballs, things like that. Um, and we have piperin, which is in black pepper, zingaron, which is in ginger, carbon dioxide, which is carbonation in soda, menthol in mint, and then ethanol. I think everyone in here is of drinking age, so you probably all know that there's a distinct burn associated with ethanol. So, so when we talk about chemostatic sensations, it's, it's, a real, it's a mouthful to say. Um, it's not very handy, but we don't call it irritation because traditionally people thought of it as irritation, but irritation doesn't cover the whole gamut. So you can talk about the burning sensations, but we also know, for example, Compounds in olive oil cause a unique tingling in a cough. Menthol is cooling, um, and uh, so this is a superset of these sensations, but they're neither smell nor taste. So then when someone says, oh, 80% of taste is really smell, I hate that statistic. I really hate that statistic because it's completely made up. There's no basis for it because it ignores this third component of flavor. It ignores all the chemostatic input. How many billions of dollars do we spend a year, or rather put it another way around, how much money do Coke and Pepsi make every year because of carbonation? The brewing industry, would beer is beer that's flat any good? No. So carbonation plays a huge role, as well as spicy food, which Nadia is going to talk about more today. There is a quick little story about the capsaicin receptor that I want to tell you. Capsaicin receptor is called TRPV1, TRPV1. And it was cloned in 1997. And it's really interesting because it turns out this is actually a molecular thermometer. And it's a molecular thermometer that kicks off at about 42 C. For those of you that don't know, in Celsius, human body temperature is about 36, 37. So about five degrees hotter than body temperature. And so in the evolutionary arms race between plants and animals, Plants didn't want to have their seeds eaten by certain mammals. So what they did is they hijacked this receptor. And they came up with a molecule that fits inside this thermometer, and it lowers the activation temperature down to about 34. So now all of a sudden you're below body temperature, which means this nerve start, this receptor fires, fires the nerve, sends a signal to your brain, and all of a sudden your mouth says, ow, I'm on fire, I'm hot. And that's why we call spicy food hot. Now there's also another unique twist on this, which is that mammals have this a receptor that responds to capsaicin. Birds don't. So there's a very practical piece of advice here. If you have a problem with squirrels in your bird feeder, lace your bird feed with cayenne pepper because the birds can't sense it. They'll eat it right up. And versus the squirrel, it's kind of funny the first time the squirrel gets into it because they'll sit there and they'll claw at their tongue and try and get it off. So if you think about from an evolutionary standpoint, you want your seeds to be carried far away. You don't want them to be dropped right next to you. So you don't want, you think about eating a, a pepper, those seeds go through the animal and come out the other side, and then they grow in the ground. So if I'm eaten by a mammal, I'm going to get deposited close by. But if I'm eaten by a bird, the bird's going to fly away and cover a much broader geographical area, and it's going to drop my seeds somewhere else that it's not going to compete with me. If you're going to do that, be careful. You do have trip V1 receptors all over your body. So if you put capsaicin in your bird seed and then you rub your eyes, it will not be fun. So make sure you wash your hands. <laughs>